You can consider yourself awake as you get up in the morning after your night's sleep, wash your face and head up to work, right? You live inside a matrix of holographic reality thinking you're awake just like a dream where it feels so real. Only after you open your eyes and only then you say to yourself, wow, that was just a dream. That is what I'm talking about here. You are either an awakened soul or a sleepwalker. So which one are you? If you are here, that means that you have an inner voice that told you to check this one out. Now, we will start a journey from your current state through the doors of the book, each with its own immense value for you. You will gain coherent insights about what the Indigo Code journey is all about. Before you will open the doors, you must know about the rise of the Indigo children and how the environment affects you. There are a total of 12 paths that together will transform your life. In the time you will flip the last page of this multidimensional journey. Let me make it clear. This journey, and the book, isn't for the faint of hearts. If you don't resonate with any of the topics here, or perhaps this is way too advanced for you, you can let it go and seek some routes that are suitable for rookies. Still here? Great. Let's begin with door number one. The first door you open is the door that consists of four checkpoints that give you the bigger picture of your soul's journey. There are two thumb rules for this phase. 1. You are an immortal, unlimited, godlike, infinite consciousness that came here to Earth for a short trip with missions. 1. You are willing to explore your true origin and rise above the rat race. Chapter 1 talks about the decision to come to Earth, born into a limited physical body, the four elements of fire, water, air, Earth. Then we're moving into the seven-year cycle of your life here. 0, 7, 7, 14, etc. Chapter 2 is all about vibrational alignment is everything. Talks about the five steps of using the law of unified field, what you know as the law of attraction. This is Esther and Jerry Hicks' teachings that I supersized for you with case studies. We also mentioned the three phases of action. Chapter 3 talks about the role of resistance in your life here. Is it really a negative aspect? This is very controversial chapter where we talk about what is the secret behind the scenario of bullying. Then, prostitution is a karmic cycle. Seeking approval from others and more trigger warning. The last chapter about the science of the metaphysical realms in a nutshell. Here we will continue with the 15 traits that builds the multidimensional entrepreneur and the urgent need of humanity for awakened leaders that will replace the corrupted leaders that sided with Enki, the great trickster. This followed by the eight principles of enlightened leadership. One of the main dishes of this door is the 30 characteristics that compose the indigo children. Now there are 40 codes that I reveal in my live events and on the Starseed Lounge trademark show. This chapter is all about the Indigo Entrepreneurship Diagnostic System trademark that if you wish to find out if you are Starseed and if you can work with me, yes. If you fail this filtering system, I won't accept you into the tribe. In Chapter 7 we touch the fear of success that Indigo children facing duo to traumas from the Atlantis War. In the workbook I share 50 types of personal fears that I've encountered. Chapter 8 is the bigger one and touches the lifestyle that are bad for starseeds and the one that is optimal for you. If it's nutrition, your social circle, training, cold baths, breathing, your social circle, and more. Chapter 9 is all about the pineal gland, the fluoride deception that influenced the pineal gland. You won't believe how important it is. Here you are getting an introduction to cosmic relationship, human bonding, and karmas. Here there are two definitions that are vital for you awakenings. The first is my definition of relationships. Aligning vibrations for the purpose of co-creating. Sounds about right, right? Now let's move to understanding what is karma. This is a misalignment between the source perception and human point of view. Yup, the next chapter takes you into the realm of trigger alert. Here we discuss topics such as the marriage institute, monogamy, polygamy, polyamory, open relationships, betraying your spouse and the prostitution origin here on earth, how source sees it. Chapter 13 is all about the Black Roses and what are they? Besides the influences you get from the media, education system and your core family, there is an element that many aren't aware of. Energy-sucking entities, Black Roses, that can easily turn you sideways and hinder your efforts without you been aware of it. I call them Black Roses, the reverse spiral energy suckers. They are entities that have one-way valve, they take energy without giving back. A full blueprint of diagnostic for you and others are within the attached workbook. After this phase you will have a look how relationship will be after full disclosure. That sums up the third door. Take a sip of your coffee and let's continue our journey. Imagine this. 
What if the very fabric of our human social structure is not merely shifting but collapsing? What if the way we've been living, working and believing is on the brink of a radical transformation? The answers to these questions are not merely theoretical, but very much a part of our unfolding reality. The years from 2024 to 2030 mark the advent of a new age, an epoch of profound change. Consider the workspace, the traditional 9 to 5 job, the rigid hierarchy, the obsession with productivity, all these are set to become relics of the past. An era of flexible schedules, flat organizations, and a focus on creativity and innovation is dawning. Work no longer means drudgery, but an expression of one's unique talents and passions. Monetary systems as we know them will soon be obsolete, making way for a more equitable and sustainable economy. Religion too is undergoing a metamorphosis. The doctrines handed down by so-called prophets, created centuries ago for purposes that no longer serve us, are being re-evaluated. In their place, a new spirituality is emerging, one that respects individual experience and acknowledges the sacredness of all life. Amidst this wave of change, a new breed of leaders is rising, the multidimensional entrepreneur's trademark. These pioneers are not defined by their business acumen alone, but also by their spiritual awareness and psychic abilities. As the timelines of reality converge, these enlightened beings are guiding humanity towards a higher state of consciousness. But what does it mean to be psychic? It's about tapping into one's innate senses to make informed decisions in personal life and business. Techniques like deep meditative trance state, mindfulness, and quantum physics can be used to harness these abilities. Even the realm of dreams, once considered the domain of the subconscious, is now recognized as a valuable source of insight and guidance. As we stand on the threshold of this new age, it's vital to remember that we are not merely passive observers. Each of us, in our own way, is an active participant in this grand shift. Whether as workers, believers or entrepreneurs, we are all architects of the new world that's emerging. So as we navigate this period of intense change, let's remember the key points. The workspace and monetary systems are evolving, religions are being redefined, and multidimensional entrepreneurs' trademark are leading the way. Our psychic abilities are being awakened, and even our dreams and writings can become tools for personal and collective transformation. The future is not something to fear, but to embrace with open hearts and minds. Welcome to the next stage of human evolution. Ever pondered the cosmic dance of numbers and their profound influence on our lives? Welcome to the intriguing world of cosmic numerology. It's a realm where numbers resonate with universal energies, creating a symphony which subtly orchestrates the course of our existence. Cosmic numerology, unlike its more conventional cousin, delves deeper into the esoteric dimensions of numbers. It probes three primary aspects, the association of numbers with spheres within the geometric tree of life, the interpretation of these spheres, and the intricate interplay of numbers within these spheres. Consider the numbers three and nine, for instance. Each of these numbers holds a unique significance within the cosmic scheme of things. The number three represents the ability to actualize potentials perceived in higher realms, bridging the gap between ethereal possibilities and tangible reality. It's akin to a cosmic architect, translating divine blueprints into three-dimensional masterpieces. A life influenced by this number is likely to wield considerable power. On the other hand, the number nine symbolizes a harmonious connection with the metaphysical world. It balances the spiritual aspects of a person, granting control over life experiences. It harnesses potent forces to catalyze transformative changes in human life. These are merely glimpses into the profound universe of cosmic numerology. The full panorama of its wisdom unfolds in the pages of The Indigo Code. This book is a treasure trove of knowledge, meticulously decoding the cosmic significance of numbers and their influence on our lives. So why remain on the periphery when you can immerse yourself in the cosmic dance of numbers? Unlock the mysteries of your life by delving into the depths of cosmic numerology. Secure your copy of The Indigo Code today. It's time to embark on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment, guided by the cosmic rhythm of numbers. Remember, the universe speaks in the language of numbers, and the Indigo Code is your translator, bridging the gap between you and the cosmos.
Your journey to cosmic enlightenment starts now.